Carbon dioxide is a colorless, odorless gas that naturally occurs in the atmosphere as a trace gas. In its frozen form, it is known as dry ice, but in the atmosphere, carbon dioxide is part of the global carbon cycle between the atmosphere, oceans, land, marine life, and mineral reservoirs. Carbon dioxide is also known as a greenhouse gas because it absorbs heat in the atmosphere, sending some of the heat back to the surface of the Earth and contributing to global warming. The U.S. National Library of Medicine's Talkstown reports that carbon dioxide emissions represent about 80% of all greenhouse gas emissions in the United States. Major sources of man-made carbon dioxide emissions include fossil fuel burning, electrical generation, transportation vehicles, cement or lime manufacturing, waste burning, and natural gas flaring. People and animals also produce carbon dioxide as an end product of cellular respiration. The CO2 is exhaled from the lungs. This means levels of the gas can vary greatly in buildings and is why it is sometimes measured as an indicator to help assess indoor air quality conditions. The Minnesota Department of Health states that the level of carbon dioxide indoors depends on the number of people present, how long an area has been occupied, the amount of outdoor fresh air entering the area, the size of the room or area, whether combustion byproducts are contaminating the indoor air, and the outdoor concentration. The agency also reports that building occupants may experience health effects in buildings where carbon dioxide is elevated, but the symptoms are usually due to the other contaminants in the air that also build up as a result of insufficient ventilation. At high levels, the carbon dioxide itself can cause headache, dizziness, nausea, and other symptoms. At extremely high levels, CO2 can cause asphyxiation, but carbon dioxide poisoning is very rare. Today there are industry standards and ventilation guidelines designed to help maintain a comfortable indoor environment for building occupants. These are just a few things to know about carbon dioxide and your environment. To learn more about this or other indoor air quality, industrial hygiene, environmental health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.